Happy Tuesday. I'm Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter with your first defense forecast. And no, this is not a repeat. We've had another strong earthquake that occurred uh, south of Puerto Rico this morning. It was a 6.4, and that is a strong earthquake. Now, it's stronger than the one that hit yesterday, which was a 5.8. Uh, this was a 6.4, and unfortunately, there has been one confirmed uh, death from this so far that we know of. And, uh, and again, all this uh, seismic activity unfortunately continues across the island. And uh, so again, just another heartbreaking situation uh, going on uh, down there in Puerto Rico. So getting closer to home here, it's a yawn fest through the afternoon, a boring weather day. So if you have anything to do today, get out and do it. It's going to be a great day for it. Lake effect snow, however, will develop tonight and then lasting throughout the day tomorrow. Tomorrow will be lake effect snow, squally, uh, windy and cold, especially temperatures only down into the 20s and potpourri for the weekend. The weekend is a whole bag of worms. So let's talk about this here and try to give you somewhat of what we know. So there's going to be a front that's going to stall across the region. And that always gets us a little bit anxious when we see a stalled front across the region. We're going to see 20s and 30s well to the north in Canada, uh, 40s across the Niagara frontier, 50s well to the south across the southern tier. The big piece of this forecast is going to be when this colder air arrives. As the front sags its way southward, we will see the colder air start to filter in. The big piece of this is when will that changeover occur? That will be the big piece that will let us know what type of precipitation will fall. As it stands right now, all of this is possible. Rain, wintry mix, icing, and snow. All of this is possible as of right now. We just don't know as of this point. It's just too far out. Now, we're thinking in terms of the uh, liquid content, about one to one and a half inches of liquid could accumulate. Now, if that's rain, that's likely going to be a heavy flooding rain. If that's one to one and a half inches of water compared to ice, that's likely going to be a heavy icing problem. And with one to one and a half inches of liquid in terms of snow, that's about a foot or more easily uh, in terms of snowfall. But again, it's just too early to know any exact details. It's not going to be until later in the week when I can give you more details on this. So stay tuned. We'll let you know. Here's future scan through the day. Nothing through the day. Now, tonight, you can see the essence of the lake effect setting up tonight. That'll continue into the day. Tomorrow, when you see the darker blues, uh, that basically indicates the heavier amounts of snowfall rates. That will continue through the day tomorrow. So tomorrow, basically, you know, squalls in localized nature. You know how lake effect works. And then that'll uh, continue into a Wednesday evening, taper off through the nighttime hours. And then Thursday dries out. And then Thursday will be mostly cloudy. So here we go with the projected totals through Wednesday. We're looking at about three to four inches right on the highest hills. And again, maybe one to two inches across the lower elevations, especially right near the Lake Erie shoreline. Again, as often as the case, the shoreline communities don't often get as much. But two to four inches uh, down to one to two inches in spots. So not big time snow. This is who cares uh, kind of snow. But again, it will be freshening up the snow packs a little bit. All right, let's talk about the seven day here because the seven days got everything for you. So 26 degrees tomorrow, one to three inches on average. We could see about four inches, especially on the hills. Windy as well. 36 Thursday. It'll be a cold start though. Look at these lows. Teens for most areas. Wouldn't be shocked if some spots actually drop to the single digits uh, Thursday morning. Here we go into Friday. It'll be near 50 degrees on Friday with widespread rain. Wednesday on Saturday, we wrote it. We just don't know at this point. It's still too early to know exact details. Temperatures will fall through the day. That 47 degree high will likely occur early in the morning. It'll become windy as well. Sunday, we could see some leftover mixed precipitation that's still in question in regards to the temperature. So we put it at 35 for now. And next Monday, uh, we'll dry out with temperatures nearing 40 once again.